four, three, two, one. My name's Carl. I'm a querist here at the Memphis Zoo, and I will be giving y'all five fun facts about electric eels today. So, fun fact number one, they are actually not eels at all. They are members of the nightfish family. And these guys originate from South America. Um, fun fact number two, they, I just, my mind just went blank. That's okay, all right, y'all take a start. Okay, well, let's go to the top again, just so we have a couple of options on the intro. Okay. Uh, but then once we get into, once we do a couple of these, we can just jump in with fun fact number two, number three. Okay. Number Hi, my name is Carl. I'm an aquarist here at the Memphis Zoo, and today I will be giving y'all five fun facts about our electric eels. Electric eels are actually not eels at all. They are members of the nightfish family, and they are called nightfish because of the fin that goes from the, back, from the bottom of their neck all the way to the tip of their tail. And these guys originate from South, South America. Um, My mind just went blank. That's okay. So they're not fish. That was the first one. They're not eels. Okay. Fun fact number two, they are mostly blind. So they detect their prey by their electrical discharge. Kind of like a bat using sound to detect its prey. That's how eels use their electrical charge. They have two different types of voltage. They have a low voltage, which they use to detect their prey. They use it to detect the obstacles around them. They also have the high voltage, which once they detect their prey, they use the high voltage to stun the prey. And that's how they hunt. I know. <laughs> Fun fact number three, all of their organs are actually pushed to the very front of their body. So the last about 80% of their body is covered with about 6,000 little cells they call electroplex. They emit the electrical charge, and that's how they shock. Let me see. Oh, Can I check my notes real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> my mind keeps going blank. This is actually. Well, I threw, I threw you that curveball by changing up what back number one was going to be. This is actually my first time with a big interview like this, so. Well, you're doing great. You're doing great. I like the fact that they're blind and they kind of act like bats with sonar. That's how they use the. Okay. I'm on number four. Yeah, right? My wife is now following an electric eel on Twitter. What? Oh, yeah, the one that every time it shocks, it says zap, pow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they wired it up to some, you know, there's something measuring the voltage, and whenever it passes a certain threshold, it triggers a tweet. Oh my god. Alerting you <laughs> to the fact that it has. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. Can one of your fun facts just be that their favorite song is It's Electric? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> they love when we play that. So yeah. <laughs> what? Six fun facts. Bonus facts. Bonus facts. They're a fan of the electric. <laughs> fun fact number four electric eels get up to about seven to eight foot in length and about 44 pounds. So that is a very large eel. They can emit electrical, uh, I'm sorry, let me start over. Fun fact number four, they can get about seven to eight foot in length and they can get up to about 44 pounds. So that's a very large eel. They emit electrical charge up to 650 volts 
and there have been some recorded up to 850 volts. So that's enough that if you were to get the full shock, it would either knock you out or do a little bit worse. Fun fact number five. I just saw it in my notes. Okay. Fun fact number five, their skin is really, really tough. So they can't shock themselves or they can't get shocked by any other electrical ill. Now, if they were to brush up against something or get in a fight and damage their skin, then that's the only way they can actually feel a shock from another electric ill. And thanks for joining us here at the Memphis Zoo Aquarium. That has been your five fun facts about electric eels.